Ahoy there cruisers, welcome to this 4K video tour of Saga's spectacular Spirit of Discovery. She's an all balcony ship carrying a maximum of just 999 passengers. At the very top of the ship you'll find the sports court. And on the sun deck you'll find a really lovely outdoor games area and golf simulator. There's loads of places to relax and sunbathe. At the front you'll find some of the best views on offer. The Lido is the main pool area with a large pool, two hot tubs and live entertainment on the stage. It offers you a taste of the British seaside wherever you are in the world. The fitness center offers panoramic views as well as plenty of gym equipment. The Britannia Lounge is located on the Lido deck. It offers a full bar, comfortable seating and beautiful artwork all around. Towards the front of the lounge you'll find some amazing panoramic windows spanning right across the front of the ship. During the day there's talks and guest speakers and on a night dancing and live performances. The grill, also located on the Lido deck, is the ship's second main restaurant, offering a buffet for breakfast and lunch, and on an evening it's a sit-down restaurant, serving the same menu as the grand dining room. It's a light, bright and a laid-back setting. And on the veranda you can choose to dine al fresco. Moving down to the E deck we have the library. We were on the ship for a preview cruise so the shelves were still to be stocked. It's a large area with a comfortable seating as well as a coffee and drinks machines. It's also the perfect area to log on to the ship's free Wi-Fi. And 
and on the other side of the ship we have the card and craft rooms. At the front of the ship there's a small art gallery and right next door we have the Playhouse, a 444 seat theatre offering full production shows and performances. Down one deck we have the promenade deck where you get a great view of the three levels of the atrium and its staircase. In the centre of the ship you'll find more beautiful artwork and comfortable seating areas. The giant bronze effect centrepiece is truly stunning, depicting many symbols of Britain. The South Cape Bar is the ship's main bar, offering a full selection of wines, beers and spirits. Moving towards the back of the ship we have the club. Created in association with Jules Holland, it's an elegant steakhouse with a 50s style club feel. And down below we have the Grand Dining Room, the ship's main dining room restaurant on board. Further aft we have two speciality restaurants. Coast to Coast is a seafood restaurant showcasing the very best of locally caught fish. And on the other side we have East to West, the Asian speciality dining venue. The terrace is a multi-level outdoor area at the very back of the ship. With a lovely garden area, it's the perfect area to enjoy a cocktail, or two, or three. As you know, we love an outdoor promenade area and we're pleased to say that the spirit of discovery doesn't let us down. Moving down one deck to the main deck, here you'll find guest services and shore excursions desks. The living room is set in the very heart of the ship. It's a coffee shop by day offering tasty treats and during the night it becomes a bar. The spa is located at the front of the main deck. It offers a full range of treatments. There's a separate men's and women's changing areas that lead to a beautiful thermal suite. 
This includes a hydrotherapy pool, an infrared sauna and steam rooms. If you liked this video and you want to see more of them, please support us on Patreon and in return you get lots of rewards. So what did we think? Well we were truly blown away. To say we were impressed would be an understatement. The spirit of Discovery is bright, modern and very thoughtfully designed. She's super comfortable and has everything you need to enjoy a fantastic cruise. Well done Saga. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy, happy cruising! cruising.